So next up, we want to add the functionality that when I press somewhere with my mouse, that I can add a dot there. Because that's our first step of drawing a line. We need to have our starting point. And for now, we just want to make sure that we can draw those dots. Okay, how do we do that? Well, first thing, we need to add some kind of event listener which listens to click events. Document query selector. And in particular, we want to listen to the mouse event mouse down. Okay, let's see if that works. Not quite yet. Document ah the query selector but uh, event listener exactly. Okay, now on this event, I will also get a lot of properties with it, and I could create my position with x to to get the client x which is on this event, which is being passed in, and y, which is e dot client y. And now I'll lock that position. Console lock position. I can remove that, let's see. Now, every time I press somewhere, I get the coordinates of that point, which means that I now can draw a line there. So I can say const line equals start is the position and is the position as well. So I'll just draw a dot and then I can say draw line, call my draw line function, pass in the context and the position. And let's have a look. I'm getting an error. Start or end of line not defined. Start position. Ah, I passed in the position, not the line. Now you see why it's useful to add those error handling. Okay, now I get those points. If I would add a line width of 100, the points would just be bigger. Beautiful. Now I can draw points wherever I am or wherever I click. So one thing which we also need to take in consideration is that for now it works that when I press here, the point is here. But if we would have some margin up here, so we have 100 picks margin, which means up here we have some kind of space when we refresh. And now when I press here, the button is not being created where I press, but 100 pixels down from each side. And the reason is currently I'm getting the position X and Y relative to the point of the window up here, zero, zero. And then I draw it from this point. So if I would say press here, I would get the position from up here, down here. And I will draw it from this point out here because the canvas starts out here and I draw to the canvas. So we need to make some kind of math to figure out the real position from this point here and not from that point up there. So that when I press somewhere, I also get the point where I press. So how do we do that? Well, if we have a look in here at our canvas, which is we select the canvas up here. The canvas also has some properties. Canvas has an offset height. Has offset uh, left and top. That's actually what I want. So you see canvas offset left, canvas offset top. It's those hundred hundred and those hundred hundred comes from the margin which I added up here. So it has a margin of 100 on both sides. So I can access those values with this offset, canvas offset left and canvas offset right. Okay, so my position now, my x 
will be client x, which means from up here to the position, from up here to over here, but I need to subtract these 100 pixels. So I say client x minus client offset left and client y minus canvas dot offset top. And now I again have the correct value. So to show you again, what I'm doing here is that if we press somewhere, let's say I press here, somewhere down here, what happens is I will get the position from up here to down here. And then I will draw a line from it within the canvas, which means I will draw the point not here, but I will draw the point down here. And to make sure that I draw the point up here and not down here, I need to do the following math. Well, we have up here this arrow and the arrow down here. So these are uh, my coordinates of getting there. And this up here will be our X and this will be our Y. And now I just need to say, I want to, to be land up here. I need to say, I need to remove this amount here. And I need to remove the amount to up here. And then I should arrive about there. So that's what I did with that subtraction. I subtracted the values to get back to the real point. When having the X and the Y from the window, I subtract the left and the top from the canvas element where it's positioned within the page and then I'll get the real position. So that's what I do here.